The HSL and color panels allow you to manipulate specific colors inside of your images. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance, and in the panel, you can click on all to view all of those settings at once. You can also do the same in the color panel. Instead of viewing individual colors, click on all to view all of them. By the way, the HSL and color panels have the exact same adjustments, they're just organized differently. The color panel is organized based on the individual colors themselves, whereas the HSL panel is organized by the type of adjustment that it's actually going to be doing. The hue setting will change the color of whichever slider you are changing. So if I were to go down to the blue slider and move it to the left or right, it's going to actually change that color. It only has a specific range and that's just gonna depend on the color. In this case, it's going from kind of a greenish teal all the way out to like a light purple. And with all of these settings, if you don't know the exact color slider to work with, click on the little dot to the left, scroll out to the image, and if you click and drag up and down, it's gonna change that section of colors. And you'll also see those changes reflected in the panel. When you're done, just click back on that icon. Saturation affects the intensity of a color. So for example, if I were to scroll the magenta slider all the way to the right or the left, it's going to either remove or add more of that color. The luminance setting will increase or decrease the brightness in whichever color you choose. If I were to scroll the red slider to the right, it's going to find all the reds in that image and a lot of them are in her face and it's gonna brighten that color. Moving it to the left is going to darken it. Now, as you can see in this example, you want to be careful with the intensity of some of these sliders. In some cases, like this luminance setting, you can see that it's not doing a very good job at a very, very low setting. For this setting, I'm more likely to move it to the right to add some brightness to her face. For some of the other settings, you may want to zoom in and look at the image closer while you're making these adjustments. Some settings are going to have some adverse effects that you can't quite see when it's zoomed out. For example, when I move that magenta slider all the way to the right, not only do I lose a lot of the detail in the area in her shirt, I also start to bring out some of the magenta in the background. I'll move that back to zero. I recommend using these sliders only in small increments to get the best results.